everyone so i'm back for another video long time no see uh this has been four weeks since i my last video i in my last video i showed you guys my first initial microblading uh experience and result today i went back to did my uh, touch up so the first time when you do microblading it will be the first uh done and then the second time will be touch up and when i went back touch up is basically just to see how the result is from uh, four weeks ago when it's initially done and then today i went there told them what i need to be uh done into in order to improve my eyebrow so today is the final look basically i told them to extend the eyebrow i think before was more like shorter now is longer and also um i told them to cover the old um tattoo of my eyebrow because it was very pinkish color so they uh uh touch touch up and cover the pinkish color so now is the final look and uh, i'm pretty happy with it and uh, after one week i should be able to wash it so today till next friday um one week within the one week i cannot wash my eyebrow cannot get it wet let it heal and then after one week i should be able to do whatever wash my face uh, so i'm very glad i finally have to you know get done with this uh, not be able to wash my face because it has been very painful you know you cannot wash your face uh, just freely or wash your hair because you try not to get the eyebrow uh, wet so yep okay since i haven't made a video because uh, uh there was a lot of things happened and my mom came visit so i didn't have a chance to make videos so today i wanted to show you guys a few things i've been using a few things i bought recently so let's get started uh the first thing i want to show you guys is um for my hair i went to cvs the other day and i saw those hair clips um so i just bought them and they are only like a dollar so i just went ahead and got them i just thought they are just really uh cute uh style and cute color so yeah and this is the second one i also got one for my mom the red one and she likes it so yep and then um lately because i was not able to wash my face freely i had a few pimples on my face that's another reason i wasn't able to make videos because i was having very bad time with my skin um, so i decided to buy um acne um face wash and i think i'm gonna just continue to use acne wash for my skin um because it's just very good to prevent that happen next time even though right now it's almost healed it's healed very fast i'm going to make a special video just about talking about how i cured my recent acne issues just because you know you guys know how old i am when those issues happened i can talk to you guys about uh, what i did and it was so such a good method i think about it and so i want to share with you guys so i will make that video very uh, very soon uh if you guys like the lipstick i wear uh today actually i am wearing a chanel lipstick and the color is number one uh 54 so i will put the name down below basically I, my mom's here, so I decided uh, to go a little bit splurge. So I went to um, bought Chanel uh, Cosmetics and uh, because my mom can give me discounts. Um, so I bought a lipstick. This is a very famous color the, uh, in Asia. So I, uh, I, I kind of actually liked it because a lot of times I don't wear uh, makeup. All I do is just a lipstick and go. And I really like this red color. So I bought it. Okay, and I also bought a uh, eyeshadow quad from Chanel as well. I bought a very, very... Um, versatile color just because i i want i don't want to buy anything that's high maintenance eyeshadow colors you have to match uh with uh 
appropriate color of lip or uh, cheek color so I went ahead to buy a color that is very versatile so oh geez so basically it's a very um this color is very like uh, light um like a silver a little bit and then this with these two color are very similar uh, in the gold uh, color family and then this one is uh, a brown color um, next time I will do a video to show you guys how I wear it I tried it at the store and I tried it when I'm home it's very beautiful so yeah and I will do a swatch maybe uh, next time when I make this video so today actually I'm not wearing anything I'm just wearing a lipstick and got my eyebrow done and I if you guys uh, know me um, I uh, work from home now so I don't wear foundation or makeup every day um, because it's not needed and uh, I don't know if you guys saw uh, uh, Facebook post about Michelle Fan does not wear um, foundation for two years and her skin was glowing and uh, to tell you the truth after, ever since I started working from home don't have to wear uh, foundation or like face makeup for example highlighter you know blush and things like that I realized my skin has got a lot much healthier and I feel like I just have my natural glow without any makeup face makeup that's why I wanted to you know just kind of uh, put it out there if you guys have skin problems maybe just try not to put more pressure on your skin just let your skin to breathe so yeah I did wear a little bit concealer to conceal my uh, acne because I do have some acne scars uh, left around my mouth but everything else I don't have any concealer on I, you can see my freckles but overall wise the texture I think is very very nice so I'm very happy with my skin condition um, besides the acne portion okay so continue with my uh, makeup how so i bought a uh, makeup remover from neutrogena this is a uh, dupe for lancome uh, i make a remover i used up my lancome uh, makeup remover which is super expensive but i bought this because i think it's a very uh, affordable and you know it's like it works about the same why you spend so much money on makeup so I decided just to start use this you can buy it from anywhere like I bought this from Walmart okay uh, another thing I bought from Walmart is this vitamin e oil uh, it's only like three dollars um, I if you guys know me I use the it's a little bit greasy <laughs> uh, I use the vitamin e stick you guys know for a long time I use this around I use this the vitamin e stick for um, pretty much everything like I use it for around my eyes for and use it for um, if I have a cut I use it vitamin e is good to heal uh, if you have cuts or anything like that also I use it for my lip because when my lip is dry I use that overnight to uh, moisturize my lip uh, just things like that but I realized actually the oil is even much better I use that for massage uh, my face I use the oil to also apply around my eyes to massage it so I actually really really like vitamin E and another reason reason I bought this is to actually to help heal my acne scars so I will talk about that in my next video and the last thing I want to show in this video is the uh, the thing I bought from Costco Peter Thomas Ross is vitamin C power it's like a calm 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 power vitamin C uh, it's like a face moisturizer um, it looks like this you you pump it um, kind of dry I think vitamin C usually is dry um, 
I really wanted to um, brighten my skin, especially my face, because I'm in the sun all the time uh, during the weekends and things like that. Because I go to the theme parks and water parks, so I use that to uh, maintain the health uh, of my skin, my face mainly to have brightness uh, and minimize the. Uh, the dark circles or the, the freckles or the spots and uh, I have just started using that so I might do a review after I uh, finish using that the first initial thought is just this um, moisturizer is not very easy to blend on my face kind of dry um, and I feel like uh, you have to use a lot to cover the face because it's not very easy to blend on your face so yep okay uh, I think I'm gonna go now and hope you guys are doing very well I will see you next time bye